Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Jordan here, and today I'm going to be bringing you part two of our eBay coilover series or whatever. Um, so as you guys remember from the last one or my older videos, uh, I have a problem where when I turn my steering wheel, it loosens up the, the nut on the top of the coilover. So I'll show you that real quick. So, if this will focus, when I turn the steering wheel, this all should move. But because, like, you have, like, this is being forced down, so there's, like, pressure against the top hat. When I turn the steering wheel, like, with the threads, because there's, like, pressure on it, the nut does not move. Yeah, the nut. The nut doesn't move, so it sits there, and then it just loosens. Um... then like yeah that's how I drove with and then it just like slaps up and down and claps um I had the same problem on my e46 that's why I went back to my stock camber plates or top hats um because my camber plates like when I except the top wouldn't loosen like the collars that adjusted the ride height would so then my car was getting lower so um I didn't film at the bender meet but like in that picture um my car was like way lower and my fitment wasn't very good because like it was lowered or whatever from that but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling um so i have uh, a piece that should fix this so these are fortunato radial bearings um this is what sits on top of the spring and in between the top hat. Um, it has a bearing in here that spins um, just like stock would. Now normally I wouldn't have put money into the eBay coils but when I was looking at Fortunato coilovers because that's what I think I'm going to go with for the S14 after the eBay's, um, it gave the option to uh, include these. So then I figured that um, the coilovers didn't come with them and then I'd have the same problem that I'm having now and that I did with my Racelands and I feel like most coilovers don't have this so I figured I'd just play it safe and buy these and then I have them and I can put them on uh, whatever coilovers I have in the future so yeah it just lets the um, the spring rotate separately from the, the shaft of the coilover don't really know names too well but i'm not my only concern with this is this is like kind of small so i'm just afraid that like the spring might be too wide for it but i'm pretty sure it might be like a universal like width so that's my only concern but um i guess we'll go and we will toss them in All right guys, so here's an update. The coilover is completely put back together. Right there. Um, I would demonstrate how it works, but I only have one hand right now. Um, I did run into a problem that was actually pretty big. Um, this spacer was too like small, like the right there was like bigger and then that was like that. I figured it'd be like a universal size, so I had to drill that out, um, but I already have it all back together, and, you know, it it works how it's supposed to, um, but I'll show you what I did when we do the other one, so I'm going to take the other side apart, and I'll show you what to do. Not what to do, because hopefully you don't buy eBay coilovers, but yeah.
All right, so what this does is, like as you can see, now the spring moves separately from the top and then there's no, uh, yeah, because that's what should happen. The nut should be turning with the, the shaft. And yeah, that should solve my problem now. Um, so now if we want to move over here, um, so that, uh, that doesn't really fit. And then here's the one that came on these and then it just slides down. So we're going to have to drill this out to get it to fit like I did with this one. Um, so I think I'm going to toss this one in first and then we will get started on this one. So when I did this the first time, it took me a few hours and I burned out uh, the bit, but this time I went slower and uh, I was able to drill it out in just a few minutes. So then I drilled it out and then I used a grinding stone and I finally got it to fit. So that's good. So if I'll be able to get it off, I'll just toss this all together really quick for you guys. Um, so we're going to need the spring. Got some uh, dust all over these. Alright, so you guys can see me. Uh, this is the old one that does not spin. We won't be needing that. And here is the new one. And we're going to slide this over. Maybe we'll... Yeah. When I... Uh, I held this down with the vise so it's a little bit... Got a couple, like, it's like chewed up a little. So I'm gonna grab a file real quick, find one, and then just try to get these down some. Now this should go in. go and then this all just slides together like that let me take the old one out and since this is all part right now I'm just gonna clean all the grease out that we put in a few videos back because it is pretty gross and it just collects a lot of like little rocks and debris so now that we got that, that just goes together like this. Then we need the nut for the top. And then uh, we'll impact it on a bit better in a minute before we actually put it back on the 240. That should be good enough just to demonstrate what we're doing. Yeah, let's go toss it back in the car then. So the radial bearing's been working perfectly. The nuts haven't come loose at all. Um, so then there's not any like really bad sounds and clunking, but um, there is like a tick sometimes when I go over a bump on the front passenger side, but uh, that might just be because of the quality of the coilovers. I don't know, but like they've been, they've been good. Um, steering's a lot like smoother cause you don't feel that binding or anything. Um, 
you probably already saw us on Instagram, but um, I took it snow drifting after that, and uh, just the steering wheel going back and forth a lot. Um, they, they didn't come loose or anything, worked perfectly, so I'll include those two clips right here. And that's all I can really say in this video, so you're going to have to wait for part three for my final thoughts and just uh, overall review of the eBay coilovers. But that is going to do it for this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and remember bros, keep moving backwards. Uh, yeah.